Hey guys, so welcome back to lesson two of this tutorial series where we're going to be understanding and using environment variables. These are helpful to have development and production environments because there's a lot of things that you want to do differently. For example, on a development production, you probably want to console log as many things as you can for debugging, but in production, that might not be the case. You might only want to listen to some breaking errors and maybe send them to another service like Sentry. Hey guys, welcome back. And in the last lesson, we just got to this stage where we have a console log saying server is now running and we have the basic express app set up. Today's lesson, we're going to be going over environment variables and environment file. So with environment variables, you can actually just put them in straight into the package.json. For example, we could have a node environment. This is the variable name is equal to development, like so. And then how you access these environment variables is, let's just say server is now running in and then let's concatenate on that variable. So we just do process.environment and that's gonna access the environment variables. And then we just do node envir, env, which is going to access that variable, which we just created here. So now when we close this and start it again, we should get the server is now running in development like so. So a really basic example of a development and production environment is you could have start prod node environment equals production node. Just like the line before, but only changing the environment here to production. Now we might use this to have, for example, our own like logging utility, which would not log in production and maybe, or maybe like in development, we want a console.log, but in production, we want to send to another service like Sentry or something, things like that. Or we might have it compiled down to a minified version in production. But for now, we're literally just going to have it change the variable name. So if we close this and just do npm run start colon prod, then you'll see that the server is now running in production. So that's like a super simple example of how to use environment variables. But you, you can imagine if you have maybe like four or five environment variables, this is just gonna become like super long and really annoying. So what people normally do is we just have a .env file here, which is an environment file. And you can example write foo is equal to bar. Now, if you save this and expect it to work, you're wrong. It doesn't work right out of the box. For example, if I say foo, we'll get undefined when we run npm start as you can see. So how do we get this to work? First, we need another dependency, which is called .env. So we do npm install .env, standing for .environment, I guess, and then save. Once we have that, we can then require it just like we did with Express. Like so. Uh, so once we've done this, we need to then set up the configuration for this. So let's just put in a comment saying setting up the .env config. And then how you do this is you just do .env.config. And then this is a function which accepts one parameter, which is an object of the options. The option we're going to use and the only option I think we might need for this tutorial series is path. And this is relative to the project directory and not the file itself. So we just do in this current working directory, do .env. And now this is going to select this file and read the environment files. So now if we run this again, we should get the server is now running in and then bar. As we expected. So now we can make this a little bit more useful and we can say maybe a port is 2000 and we can go into your server and we can change this to process.env.port and then by the way if you use a back tick instead of these single quotation marks or double quotation marks you can actually put variables into this string so we can say a server is running in and then we can do the dollar symbol and open and close curly brace to put in a variable so we can do process.env. .env node env and we say on port and then the same thing process.env.port and now this will be 
server is now running in development on port and then the yeah so we just do npm start and as we expected the server is now running in development on port 2000 and then it's super easy for example if you maybe copy and paste this like as another project and you want to have it running on a different port and you want it on port 3000 you just change that one variable and then it changes and it's running on port 3000 instead so there you have it guys that was setting up and using environment files and variables I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where we're going to be getting into routing. Don't forget to check out the Help and Develop GitHub page if you have any questions. Just open up an issue there or drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.